are coming off the back of that feel good factor over at Wigan. I guess you want to sort of build on that, make it back to back this weekend against Birmingham. Yeah, massive. You know, it's been it's always been said that back to back wins in this league really push you up the table. So it's uh, it's important to us. You know, it's, it's last week I saw so as a run of uh, six or seven important games leading up to Christmas. So you know, we started off well in terms of getting the three points. Yeah, accommodate Saturday we can definitely play better. I know that, but uh, yeah, we take in the positives and and the uh, the, the all, all, all the, the the things that we we want to work on, we to go and create goals. We're going to try and take them into the game Saturday because they're a difficult side to play against. We know that they're a side that uh, you know they've, they've got big threats going forward with the strikers they've got, but also you know the coach has got them well organised. So there'll be you know the the, the, the pockets of space let's see that, that we'll be looking for will be will be a rarity. So we've got to make sure our movement's good as well. As you've mentioned there, I guess Birmingham over the last few years uh, they've always had that reputation of being tough to play against, but they've also got quality as well. As you mentioned, a big strong centre forward in Jukovic as well. There's got all sorts of threats, so you've got to be on your game. Yeah, we, we really have. And to say, we'll, we'll, we touched on it this morning, and again, we'll, we'll work on it uh, the, 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 both sides of the game tomorrow in training. But again, the, the threat that they've got that uh, obviously not just so sort of, if you like in and around the box they've got a massive threat from crosses as well that we've got to be making sure that we we really concentrating on and affecting that as well so yeah we've you know we've got a lot of work to put in the guys even now it's thursday now but uh, tomorrow many uh, tactical pointers to give the lads when we were last at home against Leeds, a team that went top of the league that night, you can understand it being a, a, a pretty, pretty tough evening. Is this game against Birmingham one of those ones where you want your team to set the agenda and, and set the tempo and uh, really con control how yeah. the match pans out? Yeah, I think you're right, Rich. You know, I've said to the guys, and I make no excuses for it. That you know, I thought you know, we went to the Wigan game, and I said to them, I think of the next six or seven games, I make us favourites to win all three games, all three, all seven, six or seven games. Yeah. You know, because you know, they might be putting extra pressure on the lads, but you know. I realise you're playing home to Leeds. You know you've got to have a, a plan to basically try and nearly fly them, and it's almost the attitude of well, let's see what we can get out of the game type of thing. But these games coming up now, they're massive for us because you know after this going into the if you like round about the, the FA Cup game, let's say, you know by the time we get to there, we'll we'll have a real better understanding of what the rest of the season is going to determine for us whether we can be close enough to pushing on to playoffs or whether we're going to be languishing in sort of. The, the sort of middle to, to bottom half, or whether we're going to be in a relegation scrap. So they're massively important games, every one of them. In particular, as well, because this one gives us a chance to go within a point of Birmingham. You want to start sort of overtaking teams slowly but surely. And the, the, these games against the teams around us uh, take on that extra importance already at this stage of the season. Yeah, yeah. I've never liked the phrase like six pointers or must swing games, but it, it's a fact, you know. I think the, the table is, is and, and always seems to be congested. But you know, it seems that we've had a good run, but we're still waiting to see ourselves push up towards that top ten. So these games like Saturday are massively important because we want to be in touching distance. And by touching distance, I mean you know those sort of three points that if you win the game after, then you jump into the top ten if you like, or, or close to it anyway. So we can't afford to, if you like, take one step forward and two steps back, or even like one step forward, one step back. Because you're going nowhere. You need to put a string of results together. Lastly, team news. You mentioned John Swift is going to be out for a little while just with his uh, with his in, with his injury. Ovidra was missing with illness, uh, and Sam Boulder had that little hamstring. How are those two guys doing? Yes, yeah, Sam trained today for the first time, so you know he's in my thoughts for the weekend. But at the same time, we've got to bear in mind it's the first time today he's been at 100%. Let's say, you know, uh, Ovi's back in back in training and he got over the what was it two or three day. Uh, gastro illness that he had so nice to see him back in the frame because he's such a massive player for us but you know we've, we've had a few we've, I, I, I look at the situation with my squad and I say I'm, I think I'm blessed because everybody's fighting for, for every single position you know and, and I, don't, I don't think we're a, we're a team that, or a squad that relies on, on certain or a number of individuals being fit to make us a threat you know we've got people who are chomping at the bit to come into the side which is which is pleasing and it, it creates healthy competition and it's going to as well in particular over the course of this month it's so congested with fixtures as you say right up until the fa cup game so yeah the more competition for places the better yeah and it, and it also puts a, a bigger emphasis or a strong emphasis on on the squad situation and and my staff the work that they're doing to making making sure that um Physically and mentally, the guys who are, who are not exactly in the starting eleven are ready at any given time. You know, and half back to the likes of, well, the shining example of it always been like Chris Gunter. You know, for him to come through, he's come through and step into a, you know, a cauldron of an evening game against Leeds United and produce what he produced. I think it, 
it shows not just the attitude of him as an individual, but it shows that we we're doing things okay. If you like, you know, in terms of the staff and 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 getting around the players and making sure they're focused when they need it.